day. Pitching it down, they say. Okay. Have a horrible day. Okay. Okay. Only messing around. Okay, um, here we've got Ben Obi Okay, let's start again. You can do it, you can do it. Use the force, okay. Ben Obi. Okay, here we've got Ben. We can do it, we can do it. Come on, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, here we've got Ben Obi Wan Kenobi. And. He is played by Alec Guinness and he is in a film called Star Wars and this is an action figure that represents the original 1978 release of uh, Ben Obi Wan Kenobi action figure. This is uh, the VOTC from 2004 and I've been after this figure for a long long time so he's really hard to get in the UK at a decent price and he's quite a good figure. Uh, it's a sort of modern figure on a retro style card. I've just shown recently the Princess Leia, which I've been after a really long time, that Princess Leia. Back in the day, in 2004 and five, the only two I got were the Han and the Luke, and since then I've been trying to get all the others. I'm about two or three off to get all 12 of the, these VOTC figures. But, you know, eventually I'll get them all. I need the Chewbacca and I definitely need the Yoda as well. Okay, so this is the Ben Kenobi. It's quite a good figure. The head looks a bit uh, thin to me, if you ask me, but other, apart from that, it's nicely detailed. Comes in a nice cloth robe. Uh, comes with a lightsaber. And the card just looks amazing. It's an exact representation of the Kenner US uh, 12 back card. It even has the white price tag area in the top corner. So, these cards, these uh, VOTC cards are absolute must if you're a sort of into the vintage collection or the original uh, 70s card. This is, they come cased in a plastic shell, really nice. Uh, and here's the back of the card, and they're very similar to the modern vintage collection, the 2010, 2011, 2012 series has uh, Celebrate the Legendary blah 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 has the original picture of Ben Kenobi with, on, uh, with the um, 12 the original figure from 1978-79 I've got this on a 12 back on the AFA uh, 75 which is a nice item and re more recently I've got the Meccano version which is UK graded 70 I think and that's quite nice um, the other figures in the range, you've got the Luke, which I've got, the Leia, which I've got recently, I've got two of those, I've got one graded 90 and one in just in the same sort of case as this, the Han Solo and the, finally got the Ben, so I've got the four Star Wars carded ones, which is nice, um, nice item. If you wanted to get the cheapest way to get this uh, set is to go. If you live in the states, is to go and buy toys and just buy the whole way for two hundred dollars, which is that's the cheapest way to get them. Otherwise, you're going to pay a lot more. If you're going to get them all individually, which I've done, but it's been it's quite good fun to collect this this uh, series. And when they come on eBay in the UK, they tend to get he heavily bid on. Not always. Uh, maybe last year they were a bit more. Uh, scarce. Now there's a lot more coming out, so you, it's now it's the time to, if you want to get this way a series, to try and get them. Get them. Ben Kenobi's quite a good figure, I think. Uh, I think Laugh It Up Fuzzball does this figure quite well. Laugh It Up Fuzzball 70. Uh, nice costume. Brown costume there. Undergarments are cream. So it's done well, this figure. The likeness to Alex Guinness isn't, isn't too bad. Love this in the top corner, the Luke and Leia emblem, which you only got on the 12 and 20 backs. 
back in the day, and now they've reproduced it here. So, and you can tell it's OTC, Original Trilogy, because it has that as well. So this is called VOTC, Vintage Original Trilogy Collection, and I've been after this figure for quite a while. This is probably after the layout of one I wanted the most, maybe the CCPO as well, because that's just so hard to find the CCPO. Okay, but I've also got that one to show you, same seller. Okay, I've got the layer from the same seller as well. This one and the, those other figures, the Blue Coon and the Dolce Define. Good figure this one. Love the star case as well. Good solid case to protect your figure in. So, I'd highly recommend this Ben Kenobi. Okay, let's see if I can get you a better shot close. Okay, here's Ben Kenobi close up. You can see the figure looks pretty cool. And there's the costume. Excellent lightsaber. Nice lightsaber. Great figure. Highly recommend this one. You can find it. In the UK, I wouldn't go over 15 quid for this one. But it's nice. I uh, just love this card. This was the set back in the 1978. This was the second figure I got ever got with Ben Kenobi. So, after the Han Solo. So, this is a great VOTC figure. Highly recommend. Okay. Cheers. Bye. Okay, here we've got the VOTC Boba Fett from 2004 and it's graded, it's graded 85, card gets 90, Boba 85, figure 90, so very similar to the other Boba Fett I just showed you. Uh, so this is on a retro card, Return of the Jedi, and it's got a excellent Boba Fett figure in the same Return of the Jedi colours figure looks pretty well articulated, has a um, swivel head, full jointed shoulders, elbows, uh, waist I'd say, knees and I'm not sure about the ankles, ankles look fixed but it's still a great figure. So it comes with a really nice rifle as well. So this is Boba Fett from 2004 VOTC Boba Fett with the Asian sticker so it has a little Asian stick up there, Japanese text over the age and on the back you can see the original Boba Fett from 1983 on the Return of the Jedi card and then there's the new Japanese sticker on the back. So this one would have been for the Japanese market and it says the same stuff there, celebrate the legendary blah blah blah. So here you are, VOTC Boba Fett 2004 excellent figure nice costume nice detailing looks the dogs as they say so here you are Boba Fett bounty hunter everyone's favorite character here we've got the VOTC um, 2004 R2D2 now with extension arm so originally back in the 80s it was the uh, uh, sensor scope but they've changed it here to extending arm extension arm sorry and there's the actual figure very good figure nicely detailed very clean R2D2 unit and what else can I say about this figure it's on a Return of the Jedi card originally this figure came on the Empire Strikes Back card and you can see that it's an excellent li little droid there this R2 has been used on many other figures other versions of R2-D2 and then you've got on the back of the card the usual blurb, celebrate, blah 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 plus the original image of the original 80s R2-D2 on the Return of Jedi card and then other figures available on the cards as well so here you are, VOTC R2-D2 with an extension arm, excellent figure sorry about the lighting anyway, so there you go 
Okay, here we've got a VOTC 2000. This was actually later, wasn't it? Saga Collection Biker Scout from about 2006, 2007, and it's an excellent figure. So this Biker Scout has been re released, re-released many times, and is very popular amongst modern action figure collectors, as the Biker Scout is a very popular character and it has the George Lucas offer there for 2006 so it's 2006 the Ultimate Galactic Hunt and as you can see the Biker Scout is a superb figure very perfect not really in can could be uh, really um, improved much more probably maybe if it had ball jointed hips just so it could sit astride the bike the scout speeder bike better but apart from that there's not really much in the way of improving this it's on a retro style with Tony Jedi card and so this just looks amazing it's surprising this hasn't been redone for the 2010-2011 collection and there you have the original 1983-84 biker scout on a Jedi card Kenner US which I have on my channel I have a Palatoy version a US version which is the short mask version and a tri-logo version and I, I've probably got other versions dashed away as well. I've got Power of the Jedi version as well. Okay, it says the usual celebrate and then it has a European sticker there that covers everything. And there, let's have one more look at that figure. Superb figure. And there you go. It's the Biker Scout from 2006 on the Saga Collection card. Looks amazing. Highly recommend this. Uh, prices seem to be dropping on these figures of, of late so maybe now's the time to track them down okay let's look at something bye Link okay um, here we've got the Saga collection from 2006 the Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot and this is an excellent figure it ha it's very similar to the, in packaging to the Biker Scout I've just shown you with the sticker offer there which is for the Lu uh, George Lucas Stormtrooper offer which I have that one I showed that a couple of years ago uh, I got that through HMV that one because it was still in the sale on, in the UK years later um, so here you've got the classic image of Luke Skywalker as he climbs into the X-Wing in A New Hope and it's on a two striped Star Wars cards which are my favourite cards it has the Kenner logo there but you can't pick it out because it's uh, hidden by the Saga collection sign there the figure itself is rather excellent so let's see the detailing on the face is really good the helmet's cool a lightsaber plus a lightsaber hilt and the nice sort of uh, detailing on the X-Wing flight uniform so a really good figure and there you go so like the Biker Scout picked this one up pretty cheap so now's the time to pick these figures up of course I just ordered or I'm about to get the Luke the Smiling Luke as well from the SDCC or SDCC so when I get that I'll post that one but that won't come to a couple of days maybe it's because it's Christmas and the post is a bit delayed but this is a wicked figure, highly recommend it. Um, I've got the original of this figure on a 20 back card plus the Canadian transition which is a really rare figure and here we can see the original figure from 1979, 78-79 there you go on a 20 back and 21 back card and then you've got the European sticker at the bottom which hides all the other figures that were available in the, that range I think I've got them all on this on this lot I think there was five of them so there you go Luke X-Wing excellent figure highly recommend it get it alright cheers bye ok here we've got the VOTC 2004 
Stormtrooper on a Return of the Jedi card. It's in a star case and it looks really good. Let's see if we can pick up the details. Sorry about the lighting, but it's a bit dark, even though it's only about four, almost four o'clock now. So there you can see the Stormtrooper, excellent figure. Lots of detailing there. Notice a little black speck on the chest, no big deal. And the classic image from the original vintage card, Stormtrooper there, Return of the Jedi. And then if I turn it around, you can see the original image there of the um, 1983-84 Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper. And then the other figures in the series. So I've got, now I've got that one, I've got that one graded and I've just got that one as well. I haven't got the Chewbacca yet. And there you are, Star Wars, OTC, or VOTC, as they we call them these days. And there it is, the Stormtrooper, excellent figure. Highly recommend this one. Bit pricey, but if you are careful, you can find them for around, I got this one for about £7 maximum. So there you are, Stormtrooper, VOTC, excellent figure. Looks wicked on the car, especially in the uh, George Lucas and Stormtrooper. You got got him looking rather young, about 33 there when he made Star Wars, and he's wearing a Stormtrooper costume, and it's on a reproduction 12 back or 20 back Stormtrooper card, and it says there George Lucas in Stormtrooper disguise. And it comes in a plastic star case type packaging, and it's from the Saga collection, and it's from the year 2006. But it's still available in England four years later, so it's around July now. I must have got this at the end of June 2010, and it looks amazing. I love these vintage cars reproductions, and this is the guy that made it all happen. This is the second George Lucas, there's also the blue carded George Sukal X-Wing pilot, which I don't have, but of the two I prefer this one because of its vintage retro look. Two Stormtroopers there, the Saga collection there. And there's the helmet, looks amazing. George Lucas before he put on weight and went fairly grey still got a good head of hair though and it says George Lucas in Stormtrooper disguise and it's got a picture of George Lucas directing the Stormtrooper in in Tunisia back in 1970 it would have been earlier than 77 it would have been, been around 75, 76 and it says celebrate the legendary Star Wars saga that changed the universe forever with this saga connect collection. The collection brings to life the incredible story of good versus evil that captures our imagination and transports us to a galaxy far, far away. To commemorate this landmark films, we are honouring their creator George Lucas. We pay homage to both his remarkable accomplishments in film as well as the legions of Star Wars fans that he inspired by presenting a likeness of the director himself, clad in one of the saga's most iconic designs, the distinctive armour of an Imperial Stormtrooper. May the force be with you. And at the bottom it shows were six figures that were available at the time. That's the Luke in X-Wing, the Greedo, which I have, and the Sand Person, which I have, a Biker Scout, and Han Solo in the trench coat. And then there's a bit of information there, Hasbro logo, so overall it's a really nice card, and it comes in this really nice protective case, and let's have another look at George Lucas there, the likeness of Lucas is quite good, the costume is amazing. comes with a Stormtrooper Blaster rifle and I just love the vintage reproduction of this card it 
has at the top an Imperial logo and a Rebel logo. So if you still want to get one of these in England, you can get the uh, remote controlled R2D2 and you'll get this free with it. But I don't know how many they've got of these, so 20 quid's not bad to pay. You get two things, you get that remote controlled R2D2 and this as well. And these on eBay go for about 20, 30 quid, so you can't complain. Okay, here we've got two more of the VOTC or Saga OTC type figures. We've got C3PO, which is VOTC on the Empire Strikes Back card, that's from 2004. And we've got the Leia on the Return of the Jedi card from the Saga collection, she's from about 2007. Okay, so we've got two great figures here. Let's start off with C3PO. Out of the first 12 VOTC figures, C3PO is the hardest to find. And he's the one that everyone you have to pay the most for. So he are, on in the UK he averages about 20 quid plus, 20 pounds more, 20 pounds plus. Uh, I tried to bid on a graded one a few weeks ago. Uh, and I thought I was going to win it, but I just in the last second I got outbid. And because uh, no one else was bidding on it, I thought I had it, and then uh, I just got our bid. But it's a great, it's quite a good figure. Uh, you've got the 2010 version of C3PO, which is my own impossible to find. That's the figure that has all the components. But this figure ha has a lot of uh, detractors if you read about it. So the C3PO is not a very popular figure, but on the card he looks pretty cool. Leia is in her Endor gear and there's nothing wrong with this figure, it's a very good Leia. This is definitely the definitive version of Leia Endor. Comes with a removable helmet, cloth ca uh, cape or whatever you call it and a gun holster, pistol and authentic looking styling uniform. And this was the last series to be released until we got 2010 with the vintage, current vintage collection. So, great figures. Okay, if you look at the backs of the cards, and then I'll show you them individually closer up. You can see they're very similar as well. So you've got VOTC CPPO, which is um came in that series, got the Vader, the Lando, we've got those two as well. Oh, I haven't got the Vader, I've got the Warus version, the UK version, which I've done a video recently of that, and the Yoda, I need the Yoda. And on this series you've got the Han, you've got the Luke, IG-88, I've got the IG-88 and Saga Legends, but that one's hard to find, the Saga, that IG-88 goes for a lot of money in the UK, and the Bosque as well. have got the Luke Bespin, graded. Have, I could have got the Han as well but I, I, that's not such a great figure. And then the Snow Trooper, you've got that, I've got that on Saga Legends so I'm not bothered about that. And I've got the real thing so why do I need that? Okay, so let's go on to the C3PO first. A great figure and the layer is quite good as well. Both come in a star case. The layer has got a slight crack there, so I just put some tape on it just to keep it sealed. Okay. The Steve Trooper is a really nice figure. If you ask me, I like the gold shininess of it. And I think it's quite nicely sculpted. In terms of articulation, it's probably the least arti articulated of the VOTC figures. Like the elbows don't move, nor do the knee joints, as far as I know. And so it's quite a posed figure, but it's quite nicely detailed, and you know, it's old Golden Rod himself. It's quite nicely weathered, so you know, this looks more like he's on the plains of Tatooine rather than on the Death Star, just because of the amount of grub grubbiness to this figure. But I like the weathering on this figure. Okay. I'll show a close-up in a minute, but 
you know what my camera's like. Good figure. And then the layer here. I've got this a vintage one graded carded. I got that about three years ago and I just put it away. I never filmed it and I don't know where it is now. I'd like to show that. But I've got the prototype of this figure from 1984. So here's the last release of uh, Jedi figures from 1984. The card's exactly the same. If you wanted to get this on vintage, the most common version is the Canadian 77 back. There's loads of them. It took about 30 quid for this, uh, the 1983 version, 50 great graded. No, it's not an expensive figure. Um, nice. The figure is good. Good face likeness. I quite like layer. I've got quite a lot of layers, so I'm not going to complain there. Okay, we'll do some close-ups now, especially with the CPPO. Okay, here's a better look of CPPO. I've already filmed this close up, but I think the file's corrupted, so I just deleted it. So there's CPPO, quite a nice figure, quite detailed, but not very poseable. And there's the card back, done in your Empire Strikes Back style, CPPO. It's the same image they used on the 12 back. They only changed the image when they re redid C3PO with removable limbs back in the 70s, 80, early 80s, about 82 maybe. Great figure. So he's got a lot of detractors. Best place to find out about this figure is to go to Rebel Scum and um, just go into the photo archive for the figures and uh, read up about that figure. Okay, so that's C3PO from the Vintage Original Collection, and here's the back of the card. There's the original Empire Strikes Back release of the original C3PO. Great, great item. And then the other figures in the range. All I need now is the Yoda and the Vader. Okay, so that's the C3PO. Okay, here we've got Luke Bespin, and it's not the 2010 version, it's the 2007 Saga version. So this would have originally come in a plastic clamshell, with Saga written there. Um, it's one day FA graded, and it says Hasbro 2007 Saga Collection Vintage Luke Bespin Fatigue. Card is 90, blisters 85, figure is 90, uncirculated, and it gets a grade of 85 near mint. And let's see if we can get a better look at the figure. So, this is the classic image from the uh, it's called the walking image. So, the original Luke Bespin from 1980 comes with two images on the Empire Strikes Back card. It has this image, which is the first release, and then it was switched to a a more what we call the looking image with a bluer background. So you c I've got the this figure, a vintage figure from 1980, on a Canadian card, and that's on YouTube already. So I'll probably cut that with this. And I I just posted recently a, a loop best been on the 2004 OTC collection. So here you are, Luke Bespin. It's quite a good figure. Got quite nice deta detailing on the costume, nice paint job on the costume. Uh, it's got articulation, uh, ball jointed elbows, swivel shoulders, swivel waist, swivel legs, ball jointed knees, uh, swivel ankles. It comes with a lightsaber and a Han Solo type pistol. And the head's not too bad, it's not as quite as good as the 2010 version, but. It's not a bad version of Luke Bespin, and it's a classic card, though it's a... And then we've got the back of the card, so you've got here the original picture, with the original Luke Bespin. Came in two versions, one with yellow hair, one with brown hair. I've got the yellow version on the Canadian card, which is pretty rare. And here you are. The figures that were in the line, you've got Snowtrooper, Bosk, Princess Leia in Endor, 
IG-88 and Han Solo and Hoth gear, all on Empire apart from Leia which is on the Jedi card and it says the same as what it says on the BOT uh, vintage collection figures celebrate the legendary Star Wars films change the universe forever with the saga collection so more or less but it says 25 years ago and so let's have a better look at the front of the card so you've got I'm trying to pick it out let's Without, I don't want to get the TV on that. Okay, um, there you are, Luke Bespin. I've taken photographs, so you'll be able to see the figure better with the photographs. Okay, so it's got a lightsaber, pistol, excellent costume, and the head's not too bad. Okay, so Luke Bespin. Okay, let's see if I can get a better image of Luke Bespin for you. There he is. Okay, so you can see it's quite a good out figure. Nicely detailed. Excellent. There you are, Luke Bespin. See if I can get the head without getting the... There you are. That's about the best I can do. There's the card. Classic card. Been used three times now. Back in 1980, 2007 and 2010. Still got to get that figure, the 2010 version. So, Luke Bespin's one of the really popular figures. I don't know if this is going to come out because I'm using my 16-bit gigabyte memory card and that tends not to work when I'm filming but I'll try anyhow with this so here we've got um, the Woolworths UK VOTC Darth Vader which is a UK exclusive and you can see I've got quite a lot of them I've got eight of them here three up there one there one there one there and one there and one there so I've got eight of them uh, the reason I've got so many is that they were given away at Woolworths if you spent £20 and then just before Woolworths uh, closed down, so say in the summer of 2007 they um, sold them off for 73p each. I've still got the receipt here, so you've got the, I don't know if you can make it out, but it's a Woolworths receipt and it's got the Darth Vader 73p each. So I just bought as many as I could and I ended up with 16, I've already bought one before so I've got 17 of these figures. Um, so it's almost the same as the VOTC US release Darth Vader. Uh, there are slight differences, if you notice in the packaging it doesn't have the silver foil that would go there. Instead it has a free uh, and exclusive at war sticker on the outer box, the clamshell. And then if you look at the back of the card, which it has a, um, it doesn't have the pitch, picture of the figures at the bottom, instead it's just a plain cut piece of card with all warnings printed in European. A long time I thought this was a sticker, but it actually looks like it's just part of the card. So this looks like a, a, it is a UK exclusive card, not just the, the US version without the piece of silver foil and a different sticker there. Um, the Vader figure is a really good figure, can't really make it out, but the VOTC Vader is a classic figure, set a new standard in these, uh, this action figure line, and it looks really cool, especially when with so many of them together. So we've got four Vaders there, plus the Death Star briefing set, which I've already reviewed, that's on my another memory card, which just ran out and three up there, plus one there, and I've got another seven or eight stashed away. So this is your Woolworths UK Darth Vader. Looks great. Um, hopefully this um, video will work. I hope it does. So you've got your Darth Vader there, three of them up at the top, looks excellent on the Empire Strikes Back card. The War Free War Free and exclusive at War sticker there. 
and comes in a clamshell. So that's for 73p you can't complain each. So I just bought as many as I could. Amazingly there was about 20 of them at um, the wharf in Putney so I just bought about a huge amount. <laughs> that's why I've got 17 of these figures now. All carded, all mint, all sweet. There you go. There's slight variations. If you look at this Darth Vader, it's sort of the bubbles kind of stuck at a slant. And this Vader here is head turned a bit. Right, it's an excellent figure. You should be able to find this on eBay for about five pounds these days. You shouldn't pay more than that, maybe ten pounds maximum. These are available in the US as far as I know. It's just called the Warth Vader. And it's a UK exclusive. So, there you go. The Warth Star Vader. Excellent figure. One more look at the car back. There you go. And the bottom of the card which I thought was a sticker, but it's not a sticker. It's a, um, how the card is printed. Nice clamshell. Okay. And you've got these free at Wars because you spent 20 quid on Star Wars stuff. So, have a look. This is a Bo Vader Overdose. And there's a leaflet behind the figure. I'm not sure if that came with the US version. You can really see it on that figure there. Huge leaflet. Leaflet there, leaflet there. And they all got leaflets. So, that's your Vader. The UK version. Okay. Excellent stuff there. Hopefully this video has worked. Okay, here we've got the 2004, sorry, VOTC Vintage Original Trilogy Collection, uh, Princess Leia Organa, and I showed one recently that was graded. This is the one I got before it. It's uh, just in its clamshell. Uh, in the UK, this figure is quite hard to find and quite pricey, so you know it's quite. Uh, task to get this at an affordable price, i.e. less than 20 quid uh, it, in its clamshell and less than say 25 quid graded otherwise this is quite a hard to find figure in the UK I know it's, there's lots of them in the States but over here the layer is quite hard to find even though it's not the best of the VOTC figures everyone says the Han Solo is or maybe the Stormtrooper and the Boba Fett but it's the one of the four that they released on a 12 back style card along with the Han Solo, the Luke Skywalker, which I've got those two and the Ben Kenobi, I haven't got the Ben Kenobi yet, I'm trying to get that actually um, and this is a classic card back, it's a beautiful card back um, you know some people, I, kn I know one guy that just collects uh, Princess Leia, he's got the full set of the, or almost the full set of the giant 12 inch figures from 1979 uh, maybe, they're, but they're all Princess Leia's but they're all from different countries and that's just an amazing set. Um, and I know he's collecting all the vintage 1978 to 1984, 83 uh, Princess Leia's white princess Leia on different car backs so he's already got about 10 of them amazing I've only got about four you know so and of the vintage ones got 12 backs like that plus uh, the 20 back plus um, a couple of Jedi's both Kenner oh yeah and the Meccano 12 back which is really quite probably the crowning jewel of my princess Leia con collection okay so this is one figure I just, I mean the original Princess Leia, I just, that's my favourite Princess Leia and it's one of my favourite figures, top three easily, Leia in the white outfit, Han in the original costume plus Luke in the farm bike gear 
and so I've always wanted this figure on the VOTC. It's a great figure, I mean the face likeness is quite good. It's got slight uh, cut elbows rather than articulated. Um, it's got a uh, ball jointed shoulders, a uh, civil race, I assume a cloth uh, lower skirt, no holes in the feet and I don't think it's got uh, uh, ankle articulation because the feet are so kind of small. Comes with an imperial blaster, she does, and it looks just great on this card. That body was used again on this figure here, which is the uh, legacy collection layer from the free medical frigate. So they've both got the same bodies, but she's got uh, articulated elbows, whereas this one's just got cut swivel el elbows. So they work that a bit, and the head sculpts are different. So. But the bodies, are, like the torsos, are the same, and the dress is the same. Um, both are great figures. So that's the 2009. I've showed this one before, so I'm not going to take it out of the AFA bag. That's a U90, so it's a beautiful figure. Um, easy to find now, I'm pretty sure. Looks great. And that's if you're into Princess Leia. <laughs> Most male collectors are. But for Princess Leia, I, I think that's worth collecting because she's such a classic character. And this this card image here, just you know, I grew up with this when I was back in the day, so you know, brings back fond memories. And then you've got the back of the card, the OTC, with the original card there, the um, 12 back figure, uh, and the layer there plus the other figures on the Star Wars range, you've got Ben Kenobi, Han Solo, Leia and Luke Skywalker uh, and then these are very similar to the Vintage Collection it's a shame, that I've said this before, that the, the new Vintage Collection figures don't come in these clamshells and, and they wouldn't need to pr put the price up because they, they are charged enough anyhow so you know, they, things are expensive enough anyhow so, you know so that's the back, let me see, see if you can see the the original figure. Yep, sweet item. My battery's about to run out. Okay, let's look at it again. There's the vintage collection and the legacy collection. So that came out. This one came out in 2009. So there's five years difference between these two figures. Uh, super obliterated as a or supreme does a good supreme. The guy from Alaska does a good comparison of these two figures, so check him out. Supreme. Got two layers there. You can definitely see that this body is a lot darker, whereas that one's a lot whiter. But otherwise, it's pretty identical. Great figures, but I really like this car back because it's vintage. Best of both worlds. You've got a modern figure, plus you've got the um, the original styled card back from yesterday or yesteryear. Okay, so this definitely is hard to find in the UK at a good price. So you're gonna have to really be patient. I mean, I've tried so many times to get this figure, and it just got always get outbid on her. So, you know, you just got to be patient. Great looking figure, highly recommend. Best bet maybe is if you live in the States, you can just get them off Brian's Toys. So you can get the whole set for $200. That's all 12 figures. Uh, these are great figures, and the cases are nice. And this is just sweet. So, uh, my battery's about to run out. I've been rambling on about this figure. We've got the VOTC. Uh, there's only about maybe 15 figures in this range. You've got the original VOTC, then the Saga OTC, and all that sort of stuff. Um, still got quite a lot of them to collect. Um, great figures. Number next one on the my targeting scope is definitely Ben Kenobi on that card, on that th that style card. So I really want that one. Uh, ben Kenobi's meant to be a great figure as well. 
Han Solo is meant to be a top figure as well. I've got the Han Solo, I bought that back in the day, so you know. And the Luke as well. Okay, let's have a good look at the layer close up. Okay, there's Leia. It's going out a bit out of focus. Great figure though. Very small, petite, nicely styled. Princess Leia, Organa. Wicked figure. And there's how, she, how the body was reused for the Princess Leia medical frigate. From 2009 Builder Droid, and that the look that comes with this layer is really brilliant as well. So that's a brilliant, fit, nice pair to get as well. Okay, time to go. A modern figure on a repro style Empire Strikes Back card comes in a the clamshell. These came out in 2004, I think and the figure is one of the best Landau Carissians, probably the best Landau Carissian. Uh, he's in his classic Empire Strikes Back costume with arms with an Imperial Blast and he comes in a really nice cape as well and you've got the original card picture from the vintage line plus the Empire Strikes Back logo so he was first released on that card and these were quite expensive so they usually go for over ten pounds each. If I got this for less, but still, you know. So and on the back, it's got these are quite like the new cards now. So this is the original trilogy collection, and then this is the vintage collection. So you can see how similar they are. So that's the Darth Vader figure. Doesn't come in a star case, and that's the original trilogy collection figure. So it says the same thing, celebrate the legendary blah blah blah. And you've got there the original figure, which wasn't a great sculpt, but is a classic figure on it, his Empire Strikes Back card. There's two major variations of Landau Carissian uh, to yes, do today with... I went to the entertainment media show uh, in the old school, Olympia, and it was pretty quiet. It was no case, first time I've ever been, so it's on today as well, so it runs 6th and 7th of October uh, and it's got Collectomania there there's an anime zone, artist alley, cosplay, Japanese culture zone, video game zone they're all pretty small and it wasn't very crowded at all okay so I picked up these two figures, I've got the Bosk uh, Saga from 2007 vintage style figure which I've got in the Saga Legends now but that's this is such a good figure and in the UK this one goes for quite a bit of money so I got it for tenner, ten quid uh, it's a great figure and I've got, also got the Han Solo the same series um, in half gear great figure and you know I, I've differed over the Han before so I thought I might as well get him there wasn't much Star Wars stuff there there's a, lot of, a few vintage things but I've already got them all so what's the point of so wasn't much uh, modern stuff either but here you've got the Han Solo and it's a great figure comes without a, a headdress on and he has a, a removable cap with goggles built into it um, macro binoculars, blaster in his hands, great figure a uh, nice card back, just like the original Empire Strikes Back release of Han Solo in 1980. Han Solo, this figure was back in 1980, was the first Empire Strikes Back figure I got, along with the Rebel Soldier. And I've sh already shown the original version of this, but with the original vintage figure carded in an AFA 75 box, graded, you know, card. So, finally got round to getting this one. And I'll show you the back of the card. So you've got Han Solo there, the original figure, just there. And you've got the other figures in the range. You've got the Snow Trooper, which he had there for tenner. Maybe I should have bought that. Uh, the Boss, which I got. The Luke Skywalker, best bin, I've already got that one. 
Uh, IG88 didn't have, and the Princess Leia Endor, I've just got that recently as well. So, that this figure here. And then here's the boss, which is a standout figure. This is the definitive boss figure. It's just so, it's such a great figure. And it looks wicked on this card, the Boss Bounty Hunter. I've got this on Tri Logo from 1983. I've got the Revenge Proof card as well. So, if you want to check those out, great figure. You can get on Saga Legends. Um, top figure. Detailing is so good on this figure. Articulation, just everything about this figure is top draw. So you've got the Bosque there, the card back just how it was in 1980, 80, with the um, picture there of Bosque on the Death Star Destroyer. And this one cost £10. And there is the back of the card. Okay, I, I do have that on the Empire Strikes Back card, but it's on the German card. Nice fit, nice mint condition, not graded. Uh, plus I've got the Revenge Proof of Bosk. And there's the other figures in the range. And these were the ultimate galactic hunt for these figures was to collect seven coins in the collector's case. So, I highly recommend these two, especially the Bosk. It just looks amazing. Okay. And these aren't so easy to find in the UK as they are in America, and they go for slightly more over here. So, just two nice vintage figures from yesteryear, Bosk and Han Solo, in um, Hofgear. Excellent. Love the card backs, just how they were when I was a kid, many years ago. Okay, cheers, bye.